Hey guys, welcome back to Decorate with Dana and Kova. Oh my God. Every time I say her name, she needs to kiss me. So anyways, today we are continuing with our spring decorating and I am going to be decorating my coffee bar. So you'll see like in the background when I'm doing my coffee bar, the dining room is a disaster. We have been painting, we painted the whole kitchen. I painted all of the backsplash. Um, hung new light fixtures and stuff in the kitchen. So that'll be in a kitchen decorate with me coming up. We are going to be painting the cabinets, but of course, little Miss Kova here got really sick, which took a lot of money, which came out of like the cabinet painting fund, which is fine. It's fine. Probably by summer, we'll be getting the cabinets painted. So just trying to get everything prepped and slowly start making the changes that we want to make. So, um, Anyways, so you'll notice that the dining room is a disaster because everything is moved out of the kitchen and into the dining room, like on the table and everything until we'd finished all the painting and everything, but we are still working on light fixtures and some other things. So um, you'll just, you'll have to ignore what's going on in the dining room. But I did, we did get all the walls painted. I painted that same burnished clay color from Bear. I absolutely love that color. It's just so serene and so beautiful. It's the same color that's here in my office. Um, so the coffee bar has been all, is all ready to be decorated. So I moved the cart back in. I hung a new picture and some new hooks. So I will show you those. And we are just going to go ahead and decorate this for spring. So here are some of the items that I'm hoping to use. Again, I probably will not be using all of this, but I just wanted to share with you some of the things I got and then some of them I had. So I found these at Bed Bath & Beyond and I am in love with this pattern. So I am actually going to start replacing all my dishes with this pattern. Um, this is the Bee and Willow brand at Bed Bath & Beyond and so um, they were actually 20% off, so I did grab some of the smaller plates. They were out of the bigger plates, but I have another coordinating plate that will go with it. Anyways, that's not to be used on the coffee bar that I will probably be sharing in another video. But anyways, I picked up four of these mugs. Um, I just have my sugar bowl. I picked up quite a few little greenery plants from Target. I love these. They were part of the hearth in hand, and they were $4.99. Really cute, just nice and small, so I love those. I found this little Ray Dunn, um, you know, little pot, and these look so cute in it. Like, that looks adorable in there. Um, this is that little wreath that came from Walmart. Another little plant, this one is also from the Hearth and Hand, and then I did get this little basket, and I think it's just like a little storage canister. But I do love the way that the little plants look in that. And then this kind of leaning up next to it. So I picked up those. Um, I found this over at Home Goods, And I love this color green. I just think it's super pretty. So I grabbed that. And then I just have my creamer bowl. Which is looking a little pink. But it's not. It's just the regular white one. I have this little placemat to use on my coffee bar. And then I just have different greeneries. I've had these. I picked them up at Joann's. They were like 50% off of $3.99, so $2. And they're just great to have to lay around. Not sure if I'll use them all. Um, this little bunny cup came from Target. And I always like to keep a cup. This really isn't my Easter decor, but I do like this little bunny. And I like to keep a cup under the coffee maker because it drips a lot. So this I had hanging up there, and I changed something out. So I will show you what I put in its place, but I will probably, I might use that somewhere on the coffee bar. This plant was also at Bed Bath & Beyond. And if you guys haven't been there in a while, they, mine at least, they've really renovated. They closed a couple, so I wasn't sure if they were all closing, but they've got some really cute home decor in there now. So this is just a little olive plant. I love plants in baskets. Uh, I love the texture that it gives to anywhere that you're decorating. And then I just have another little moss ball. I think this was from Hobby Lobby or maybe this was Bed Bath & Beyond. Um, a little um, pot here. This, I love this little sphere. This was also from Bed Bath & Beyond, but it was on sale and I also was able to use my coupon for that. Um, I just love the looks of that. I think I'll be using that. 
Um, I love this little birdhouse. I think this is so cute. This came from Joann's, and then I picked up another one of those big, fat little birds that I got at um, Joann's that I put on my tier tray. So those are super cute. And then this was also at Bed Bath & Beyond, and it was on clearance for $5.99. And I love this. I'm not sure if this will go on my tray or just in, or on my coffee bar or just in my kitchen, but I just added it here just in case I want to use it. And then I just have my pedestals. This was my two-pack from TJ Maxx that I picked up. So probably I might use one or two of the, or one of those in my coffee bar. And then this is another one of those little plant stands or plant holders with the little bike from the Target Dollar Spot. And then I have a couple of my towels here. I always wash my towels before we use them. I'm just not sure what really the towel that I hang on my coffee bar. I don't, we don't really use, so it's more for decoration. So I usually don't wash that one just because um, it stays nice and crisp looking. So I haven't decided which one I'm gonna use on the coffee bar and then I'll end up washing the other one to use in the kitchen. And then these are those signs from Joann's that I tried on my tear trade and I just couldn't get it to work. Fresh cut flowers and then Oh Hello Spring. We'll see if I'll use those in here also. And then of course I have my milk, radon milk container and my little teapot, my elephant teapot back there. So this is everything I'm hoping, or you know, this is what I'm basically trying to think about incorporating into. So first of all, don't mind the dining room table back there. We are doing major, not major, but we're doing a lot of kitchen renovations right now, or starting to do some little ones, and which started with painting every single wall and changing, changing out some light fixtures. So everything, because the table has been moved away, has been pushed in the, um, dining room for right now so that room is an absolute disaster but that will be the next to decorate so i found this beautiful uh picture at hobby lobby and i'm really just trying to do a lot of greeneries and stuff kind of like i did my tiered trays a lot of the greens and the natural elements and white so i found this picture and i fell in love and i think it looks perfect over here usually i have like a coffee sign hanging there but I wanted to switch it up for spring and summer. And I love this, but I, what I love about this is this can be used all year, so I love that. Um, and then I did hang this little hook rack under here. This is where I had that other little coffee sign hanging, but I hung this little hook rack to maybe hang some um, mugs up there for now. And otherwise I've basically cleared everything off besides obviously my coffee maker. So this is what we're working with and we will go ahead and get started.
way that you talk to me, the way that you make me feel, I don't know if you're real. I wanna put you in that spotlight, looking at you all night, put you in that spotlight. Oh, you make me feel right, wanna look at you all night, put you in that spotlight. Oh, you know. Okay, so here is how the coffee bar turned out. I'm loving the simplistic look of it this season. So normally I have my mug rack sitting here where this enamel coffee pot is, and I decided to take it down just for the season. Um, I'll definitely be incorporating it back in at some point. It's just, I'm loving just the simple look for right now. And normally I have that coffee sign up here that tells you where you know, what the different types of coffees are and espressos, but I took that down for now as well. And then, so up here I have that picture from Hobby Lobby. I love everything about this picture, the greens, the um, grays and whites, and the simple wood frame is exactly kind of the look I'm going for. And then this little bird house and bird came from Joann's, and then that little plate, I am looking for the bigger plate, but they were out of it is the Bee and Willow from Bath, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. And then my little elephant teapot on a pedestal with the little boxwood wreath that came in a two pack from Walmart is probably my favorite thing up here. And then these hooks, I love the way that this turned out. So the hooks themselves are from Hobby Lobby and then those are more of those Bee and Willow cups. And then the little wreath is another two pack that came from Walmart. And then this enamel coffee pot in this pretty green color came from Home Goods, and I just put some more of those, or I put some of those flowers that came from Amazon. These are super realistic. I have those linked down in my Amazon store if you're interested. And then this is the DIY that I made in my last video, the little spring farmhouse beads. So I think they look really cute wrapped around there. And they're all sitting on one of those pedestals from Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those two. And then I just have my little sprout Ray Dunn pot and I have that little rosemary plant that came from Target on top of this pedestal that came from uh, Hobby Lobby. And then I just have my cream and sugar bowls and my little bunny mug catches any drips from the Keurig, but also looks really cute. And then my Ray Dunn milk canister came, or is also, I put in that two of those flowers from Amazon. And then down here, I did kind of struggle with these shelves, but overall I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. That little bike pot, again, is from Target along with these both of these two plants on this shelf. The coffee sign is from Hobby Lobby. And then down here, I just have that olive plant and then that little sphere with uh, that's also sitting on top of one of those other pedestals from Marshalls. And then over here, I just put my happiness is homemade towel that came from Joann's. So overall, I'm really happy with the simplistic look of this coffee bar. I hope that this video gave you guys a little bit of spring decorating inspiration. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Decorate with Dana. And if you are new, I hope you will consider subscribing. And please share my channel with your family and friends if you are enjoying it. It really helps me out a lot. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.